Hello, hi, my name is Min. Welcome to my channel, Min's Class. Today, we're going to talk about Hangul, the official language of South Korea. First, let's talk about the origin of the language, which is Ki Won. So, Ki and Won. That means origin. So, let's talk about that. Hangul was invented by King Sejong the Great in 15th century. Sejgi is the century. So it's been almost 600 years. And at the time, all Korean people were using the language they borrowed from China. It was called Hanja, Hanja, and it's the Chinese letter. And China is called Jungkook. So, Jung and Guk. So that's China. So, most people that were living in South Korea back then, they were all illiterate. So, the illiteracy rate was so high, Sejong Dewang had to do something. So that's why he invented the language with the help of scholars that he trusted. Now let's talk about the language. The language has 14 자음. 자 and 음. So 자음 means consonant. And there are 14 of them. And they mimic the shape of our mouth. So mouth, so 입 is our mouth and moyang mo yang is the shape of our mouth so here we have a picture of our side face so when we make the sound kiok ku our when we make the sound kiok which is the basic consonant in Korean language, it mimics the shape of our side mouth. Korean language Hangul has 10 vowels. The vowels were created using the three symbols Hanul, Dang, and Saram. So Hanul, Ha, Nul means sky or heaven and Dang Dang means earth and saram, so saram means human. So hanul is this one, the dot, and dang is the the horizontal line, and saram is the vertical line. And all vowels are created, created using these three symbols. And then Korean vowels also follow the system of in and yang. So um mm means in, which is the shade or the darkness or the lunar power. And yang so Y and G Yang is the Yang, so Yin and Yang. So Yang represents light. So this one is the light and Yin is the darkness. Okay, so some Korean vowels are uh, Yin or Um mm, and some Korean vowels are Yang. For example, A O, those are some of the light vowels, and O and U, and they are some of the dark vowels. All right, so that's the origin of how Hangul was invented. And now let's talk about Ku Sang. So Ku and S E O N G Ku Sang. 
구성 means composition. Composition. Uh, in Korean, in Korean language, Hangul, a syllable, so a syllable must have at least one vowel and one consonant. There are several types of composition that can be used in a Korean syllable. First, just a vowel sound. So we can just have the sound of ah, ah. And when we have just the sound of the vowel, then we use a silent consonant, which is the ion right there. So that's ah. And we can have a consonant with vowel. So we can have the consonant rear, ra, and then we can add it with the vowel ah. And we can also have consonant followed by vowel and ending in another consonant. So we can have rear, ra, and vowel a, ah, and then we can have another rear right there. So it's ral, ral. All right. When you practice writing hunger. It's important that uh, you have drawing, the square drawing with dotted line, so that you can uh, practice writing them in the right way. Okay, so let's try writing some Korean words. The first one is just a vowel sound, just a vowel combination. So when we have that, we write our silent vowel, silent consonant, that is ion. So like that, and then we can have our vowel. So in this case, let's have E. Okay, so just like that. So try to use all the space in that square. And the next one we have vowel and consonant. So in this case, since we are going to be using the bottom half, uh, the bottom half, with our ending consonant. So let's just squeeze everything on the top. So we can have yun and yi, and we're just gonna use the bottom half like this. So yi, yi, okay? And next we have consonant and vowel. So just like the first one, we're just gonna be using, so, and then we can have the vowel pe, pe. And then we have consonant, vowel, and consonant. And let's do kia, and then a, ah. and we can have another bium right there. And notice that I'm aligning in this line so that they, uh, they look unified. And notice how I'm not really writing anything beyond this dot right here, which is very important. Okay, and the last we have consonant, vowel, and double consonant, okay? So for example, we can have uh, hit and our uh, vowel is a, and then we're gonna be using two consonants as ending sound. So we can have rear, kiyok, okay? Like that, all right. Number three, we have mo um. So, m o mo um, which means vowel, and cha um, j a n e u m, cha um, which means consonant. So, we'll be talking about vowel and 
consonant okay and in Korean Hangul there are two types of vowels one is tan mum tan means single so it's so tan means single and it's monophthong in English so monophthong monophthong and ijung ijung means so e jung so ijung means uh, double so we have double vowel which is diaphthong okay so let's start uh, with the first uh, monophthong that is ah ah and in english it's written as a or a h and the pronunciation is ah okay and next we have ah uh, and in english it's written as uh and it's pronounced as ah uh, ah uh. and next we have o uh, and it's pronounced and it's written as o or o and it's pronounced as like that o and then we have u and it's like that o o and it's pronounced as u and then we have u u and it's written as e u and it's this one u okay and then we have e e and it's written as i and pronounced as i e okay and we have a a and we have a and it's pronounced as and it's written as a and pronounced as a and then we have a a and we have just e and it's pronounced as e like that and we have we 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 mm -hmm. and it's pronounced as we we and it's written and pronounced like w e we and we have this one we we and it's w i we w i right there okay and ijungmong we have two sounds so the first one is ah uh, but you have to bend the sound a little bit so it's ya ya so the first uh, diaphthong is ya and it's written as ya and it's pronounced as ya ya so this uh, phonetic symbol j is bending the sound of a ah okay and next we have yo and it's y okay or y like that and pronounced as yo and we have yo and it's y o and it's like that yo and we have u and it's y u and it's pronounced as u and we have 
ye and it's pronounced as uh, it's written as y e and it's written uh, it's pronounced as like that ye and then we have another similar word ye ye and it's pronounced as okay there's a slight difference between the first one and the next one the first one is ye and the next one is ye okay and next we have o and a together so it's wa 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 so it's w a h wa wa okay and we have w a as pronunciation and we have o a so we have we we and pronunciation is we like that and next we have u and a wa wa so w o and w o is the pronunciation wa 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 and we have u and a together so we have another we sound we we last but not least we have u and e together and there is something that you have to be very careful this and this they are not the same the first one all is so you put the the horizontal line right in the middle okay and next does the vowel u the vowel ui, we put the first horizontal line uh, toward the bottom and then like that okay don't mix them up and this one is written as ui, so ui, and pronounced as okay like that and now we are on to 자음 자음 so let's begin the first one is key up 그 and it's and the first one is key up 그 and in English it's G 그 그 and when it's used as 받침 which is the ending sound it's pronounced as 그 그 and next we have 니은 니은 and in English pronunciation it sounds like 느 and and in 받침 same pronunciation 느 은 okay and next we have one and two tigret and in english pronunciation it sounds like d d d however when it's used as an ending sound it sounds like t t all right and next we have rear rear and it sounds like r or l and in when it's used as patsim it sounds like l okay and next we have bium mu bium and in english and ending sound both sounds like mu or um next we have peer so we put it like this and it sounds like b however when it's used as ending sound it sounds like p p and that and next we have shield which is written like that and in english it's s however when it's used as ending sound it's pronounced like t t okay and this one is super important ian ian and it doesn't have any sound uh, when it's used as the first consonant it only 
has the sound of ing, ng, ng, ng. So like that, ring, ring, bang. Okay. And next we have chiu, chiu, and it sounds like j, j. Mm -hmm. And when it's used as the ending consonant, it sounds like t. Next we have chiu, like that, and it c h. It sounds like ch ch. And the ending is the same with the chiot. Next, we have kiot, and it sounds like k, k. And as pachim, it sounds like k, too. And we have, we have t sound, and in both English and pachim, it sounds like t. And next we have p, p, and it sounds like p in both cases. And we have h, h, and it sounds like h. However, when it's used as the ending consonant, it sounds like t. Okay. And next we have tense sounds. Uh, so basically what we do is we uh, put two gyuks right next to each other and make a very tense sound. So gu, 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 like that. And when it's used as ending sound, it sounds like k, k, okay? And next we have double digit. So du. So this one sounds like D. So double D, D, very tense. And as ending sound, it sounds like T. And next we have two B, B. So write this one first, and then write the next one right next to each other. And it sounds like B, B, B. So sounds like but very tense. B, B. Okay? And as ending, it sounds like P, P, or P. And then we have Sang Siot, which is the double Siot together. And it sounds like S of a very tense S. So C, 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 C. Okay? And as ending sound, it sounds like T. And lastly, we have Sang Jiot. So we just write two Jiot right next to each other. And it sounds like very tense G. So Ja, Ja, Ja. Okay? And as ending sound, it just sounds like T. And the last thing that you have to look at, and the last thing that we are going to cover is 이중 받침, which is the double ending consonant. Okay? And the reason why I put, uh, put them in two groups is because uh, in the first group, we only, uh, we only pronounce the first uh, consonant. Uh, in the next column, we only uh, pro uh, pronounce the second consonant. So the first one is kyuk, shiot. And the next one is nian, hyung, and nian. Chit and dear, pip, 
and rear ticket and peer short and rear kia rear bium rear peer okay so we only pronounce this one the first one and this one so the first one kyuk shit sounds like k and dyun hyun sounds like ni dyun ji sounds like ni and then dear bib sounds like l another l and sounds like p and in this case we only pronounce the second one these so in this case it sounds like k and in this case it sounds like m um and next it sounds like p and on the bottom let's write a silent vowel ing like that and then like this okay so when we just have a uh, consonant and vowel and if the vowel is vertical then we use them we use the uh, the sections accordingly okay just like that and next we have ion but in this case we're going to write ion in the middle of that dotted line and we're going to be using uh, this middle dotted line to write our vowel but this time the vowel is horizontal and when we write a horizontal vowel just like that uh, try to use the middle line as a guide okay and next we have uh, vowel and consonant so try to squeeze uh, the the vowel and the consonant sound on the the first half the top half and then we squeeze and then we write the ending consonant on the bottom half and next we have the vowel sound ah and then we're going to write double uh, pachim double ending consonant let's write dian hit so dian and hit like that okay and then we're going to write consonant kyuk and then a vowel ah okay and then we're going to write uh, consonant kyuk however uh, we're going to have horizontal uh, vowel o and then we have bium and a uh, and let's write double uh, ending consonant rear kyuk here so rear and kyuk okay so that's how you practice writing korean properly now let's practice writing some sentences and imagine you have a dotted line in the middle that is not visible to your eyes but just imagine uh, it is there then it kind of makes uh, your korean writing much uh, easier okay so let's write something like i go to school so when you write it like that so you write your first consonant na like that okay and so na is me i and you write then like this so try to uh, 
put the, the middle vowel right in the middle. So 나는 학. 학. Okay? And 교. 에. So 학교 means school. And 에 is the uh, post position uh, that is related to location. So 나는 학교에 감 니다 like that okay and it means I go to school I go to school okay and next sentence let's do uh, James is from Canada James is from Canada so 제 and we have im and s and nun. So James nun is the uh, subject post position nun. K na ta e so. Eso is another post position that means from. So Canada eso. What? Sim ni ta. Okay. So James is in Canada eso wasimida. It's James came from Canada. James came from Canada. And final sentence, let's do. 저, 는, and here. 저 means I, but in polite form. Polite form. So 저는, and we all know what 는 means now. So 저는, 아, 아침, 아침 means in the morning. 에, 저는 아침에, 에 is another post position for time. 저는 아침에 밥을, 밥, 을, 밥 means rice. 을 is the post position for object. 먹, 슴, 니, 다. So, I, polite, in the morning, rice, eat. So, I eat breakfast in the morning. Okay, so that's everything I prepared today. So, 감, 사, 함, Ni da, which is the thank you in polite form. And 감사합니다. 구, 독. 구독 means subscription. And 과 is post position for end. 조, 아, 요 is another very important Korean word that means like so if you can subscribe to my channel and hit the like button I love you all and this was Min my name was Min and Sam means teacher so this is Min Sam thank you so much Goodbye.